Okay, so we have already pressed go to step two. We've got our video clips that we converted over here. Okay, so you just opened GoPro Studio and you had to quit after you've already converted. All you have to do is, is go ahead and press step two, edit, blank template. These are all example templates and, and showing you uh, how they put music and everything with it. Really good looking videos, but uh, not for the purpose of this. Create. Then we're going to go here to media. We're going to go to our folder. And here's my, my three files. I'm going to open them. Okay, so now we've got them right back where we started. So I'm going to go ahead and press the first one. Then I'm going to press shift on my keyboard, press the last one. They should highlight. I'm going to go back to the first one just for fun. I'm going to drag to my timeline. Now I've got them set up. So um, the first thing that I'm going to do is go ahead and go to my controls over here. I'm just going to leave everything alone. If I want to speed it up, I can just uh, go to the shortcut times two, times two. So I'm gonna leave it back at 100 personally. Um, I can play it in reverse, but again, you're only selecting this clip for now. So I'm gonna go ahead and move down the audio controls. I don't have any audio on my time lapse. Uh, white balance, I can mess with the, the colors in the picture. Uh, again, exposure, contrast, mess with the colors there. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and zoom in and I wanna change the frame a little bit. So I'm gonna go into framing controls and change it. Okay, so before I do that, I'm gonna go ahead and bring my subject into the frame. There's, there's my subject. So um, I believe what I wanna do is go ahead and move the clip down with my vertical. So I'm just gonna kinda move it a little closer to the center there. And then I'm gonna go ahead and zoom in on it just a little bit. And then I can move it down again. Then I can move it over uh, right to the center. Maybe zoom in just a little bit more. I'm gonna take it back up, I think, just a little bit. Okay, so now I've got that. Now rotation, basically it turns, it turns this around. The H zoom, moves it from side to side, horizontal zoom, horizontal zoom from side to side. H dynamic moves it from the center side to side. So those you can play with. So you can also flip the image horizontal vertical. And if you mess up and you wanna start over, just press defaults and everything goes back to where it was. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm on the first clip. I've changed the first clip only. I'm gonna go ahead and add a preset called uh, frame one and I'm going to add it to my presets okay as you can see you can move this up a little bit there's a lot of other presets but mine is a custom frame one so now I'm going to just choose the second clip I'm going to press frame one I'm going to choose the third clip and I'm going to press frame two so now I'm going to go a step or frame one is <laughs> still on frame one uh, I'm gonna go back to the first frame and I'm gonna go ahead and customize the first frame and I'm gonna put a fade in of one click, 0.2 seconds. Then I'm gonna go to the, th the third frame and I'm gonna put a fade out 0.2 seconds. So now I've basically gotten everything consistent with, with pressing uh, frame one that I customized and then frame the first clip is custom even from that and the third clip is custom even from that where I didn't really mess with the first clip so now I'm just going to uh, press play just for fun and you can see it 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 faded in there so I'm just going to stop right there so now I've got my time lapse more or less finished. It's just a real simple time lapse, no titles, no audio. And now I'm going to go ahead and export and put it 
um, you know, put it put it where I want to based on based on all my settings. So I'm going to go ahead and choose YouTube. It's 182 megs. That's not too super huge, and that's more or less what I'm going to do with it anyway. There's a couple of other settings uh, that are that are going to change how big the file is and that sort of thing. So I'm going to go ahead and export. 